All right, folks, we have the chili contest here at the fair, and I am here with Barbara Thomas. And this has been going on for a very long time, folks. The chili contest is super popular here at the fair. And once again, we've got a ton of chilies here. But I'm sure you're wondering out there, how do you get involved with the chili contest? What does it entail? Well, Barbara, you're going to answer all our questions. So first of all, tell me a little bit about the chili contest for those who don't know. Uh, the chili contest, I think, originally started with supporting the fire departments. You know, and there was, you know, bigger prize, cash prizes than what we have now. But it's gradually worked down to we're giving $100 for the best in show. Okay. We have three different categories. We have meat uh, without beans. Okay. We have uh, con carne with beans and vegetable. So those are the three choices that they have to make. Yum, and I have to say, it kind of feels like a fall chilly day here. Sometimes you guys do the chili contest and it's like 100 degrees. It's yeah. perfect weather for this today. This is perfect weather for this, <laughs> and it shows by the number of entries. We do have 20 entries, and it's wow. wonderful. And then after the contest, we sell the chili that is here for $2 a bowl, oh, wow. and we also have cornbread for a dollar. So afterwards, you can sample the chilies that were made. Wonderful. Now tell me a little bit about this chili. How are we being judged? Because I know the type of chili I like. So I get you have three different categories. In those categories, what are you looking for? Uh, Would you say, is it taste? taste is it flavor? Texture, taste, texture, and appearance are the main categories. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So appearance. So I see some of these um, crock pots decorated is that part of the appearance or is that just the flair you know we used to do it where they had to decorate we've stopped doing it but people enjoy doing the decorating and give it that little extra flair so yeah. we still allow it I they go it. through it there's there's some great decorators that that work on these and it's wonderful awesome so what's it take to be a judge to do this what do you need to have criteria wise well, we go with people who are in the field, you know, in the food vending field, and also we have to like chili. Yes. You yes, know, that helps. Uh, we prefer not too hot chili because then it kind of kills your taste buds for anything else. So, you know, we do like a little kick in it, nothing wrong with that, yes. but too hot might, you know, yes. might be a little too much. It's her the taste buds. We yes. don't want that. Absolutely. So then, like you said, you got a best in show. So the best in show is the best one of all the categories? Right. We will take the first, the top three in each of the three categories, and the judges will decide between that, those three, which one is best in show. Yum. Well, folks, I mean, chili reminds me of football season. We always crock an awesome chili in my house. Um, I am definitely interested to see what we've got here. So once again, a great part of the fair, something that's been going on for many, many years and many years to come. Mm -hmm. Right, Barbara? Yeah, we'll still be here. <laughs> We're not giving this one up because people, as you can see, we've got enough people in the audience. They're waiting for the chili along with seeing the results of the, of the contest. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Barbara.